What's up guys, this is Third Floors, Fritz coming at you with an uh, After Effects tutorial. Um, it was requested by one of my friends and he wanted to know how to start After Effects and in particular how did I begin it. Um, well, just one day I was a graphic designer and I wanted to learn to edit and I just kept following tutorials and I got where I am right now. I got a long way to go but I know most of the stuff already I guess so what I want to let you know is this will be a walkthrough for the very basics of uh, After Effects and I will uh, increase the level of uh, the skill in After Effects every, every tutorial so this one will be not this and I'll be going higher and higher each time. So bear with me. So this is After Effects. I got CS 5.5, uh, I believe the newest. And as you can see you have a lot of panels right here. Um, I got my workspace on standard, which is okay I guess. And I added a few. Now, where you want to begin is always create a new composition. So you go to composition, new composition, main new uh, name your composition whatever you want I used to make it main comp now for HD you want to put it the preset on HDV HDTV 720 and the width and the height on um, 1280 by 720 frame rate is whatever you want and I usually do this one and time it all depends on the project you're going to work on but um, uh, let's just do some one minute round and background color doesn't really matter since you can adjust it at any given time you want so there you have your main composition um, let's say you want to be an editor so you import a clip for, and that will be let's see a cost for triple so you you see when you import your uh, file it will come in your project window so you drag that into your composition and there you go you have your timeline and your clip as you can see here's the clip and that looks good so basically um, I'll explain all the panels over here uh, the main ones I believe you get are audio which are which is pretty useful as you can see the decibel which you need to pay attention to if you want to get a high quality uh, project you have effects and presets which are basically your plugins you get while installing After Effects uh, a few common used ones that I won't give you the download link to but you'll just look it up on YouTube. Uh, our Twixter Pro, like this, Twixter, you have Twitch, and that's this one, and you have uh, Lux, I believe, yeah, that's Magic Bullet Lux for a color correction, which is very, very useful. Now you have the char character and paragraph, I believe I put these two here myself, but that's basically the text, which can be done anywhere, anytime, whatever. So, um, basically you find a lot of useful information over here, uh, it says the frame rate, it says the colors, it says the, uh, I believe the hertz, uh, the time, the HD or whatever. And let's say you want to give this uh, clip uh, some, or you want to cut out the clip to a uh, more efficient timeline. So let's say this is a triple, which happens over here. As you can see, there he gets the triple. So you see all this stuff, you don't basically need it, only if you want to animate it or put some nice cinematics over it or you want to uh, make the triple on music and you need the space. So, but we don't need that for now so I'll cut it off right here by selecting your layer and if you're on a Mac uh, press shift command D 
to split the layer and for Windows just replace command with control that's for everything so don't worry and then you can just backspace delete it now drag your clip back to the front so you don't have to skip that part all the time and there you go we have our little clip over here now if you don't want to search your uh, clip all the time for the happening or let's say the triple in this case you can add markers so let's see over here is the triple and here you see the marker you can just drag it on now some tips for the timeline uh, as you can see it's really long as of here so you can just zoom in by either uh, going over this little button or you can just press these a few times and you can see I'm two frames up doesn't really matter for this but if you want to be accurate be sure you zoom in a lot the next uh, thing is if you want to skip one frame per by one you can either I believe press this one this one next frame or you can command and uh, arrow to the right key per frame and if you press shift with that you go skip 10 frames at a time as you can see like here. So that's kind of the basic for your timeline. Um, now the way how to add effects. You can add effects directly to your clip but that's dangerous. Um, why? Because if you use multiple layers and believe me you will, I have projects with 84, 85 layers at least, so you will miss the layers below this so you will only have the layer on front, on top sorry. What you want to do is layer, go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Be sure to name it so you won't lose track of what you're doing. Let's say this will be our color correction, so CC. And obviously you want to trim it to your clip. So go to the end of your clip and press Alt and End bracket. Oh, you have to, to select your layer. The end bracket is this one. This is the end bracket. Let's enlarge it. Sorry, guys. What the? F oh, excuse me. It's that one. That's your end bracket. To uh, trim a layer from the beginning, you'll use the uh, beginning bracket or whatever how you name it. So let's delete the text layer. As you can see, we have to trim layer over this and I'll show how to add looks on that or color correction you can make your own color correction you don't need uh, this program for it but when you do drag looks onto your layer go to edit and it will pop up another program as you can see right here so then you you have some pre uh, standard uh, color corrections but I downloaded a lot from editing packs which are really useful to have so yeah you just have a lot of variety to use in your edits <coughs> excuse me as you can see it's loading the color corrections but I'll just use this one or this one it's slow quite quite slow right now I'm running a lot at the same time now, let's use this now let's say you like the effects but it's kinda too much what you want to do is go to your CC color correction layer and press T for opacity. If you drag that down, it will. Why is it so laggy? Come on, guys. You can see it's uh, lowering the effects of your color correction. Let's say we go to 50, and you can see you have the the glow, you have the effects, but not too overwhelming. Let's try this. Ah, it looks better. Now, if you want to fade out clips, there's an easy way how to. Go to Layer, New, Solid, and I assume you will fade out to black, but you can fade out to any color you want. So let's say black. Uh, just trim the layer real roughly, doesn't matter really. Oh wait, that's not necessary. You can just keep it on bottom. And what you want to do is select both these layers. 
press T for opacity, go to the end of your clip where you want to fade out, like for instance this part where it's dying, falling out. Keyframe your opacity, go to the end of your clip where you want it to, to be totally black and just drag it down all the way to zero or just make it zero. It will make a keyframe automatically since you changed it. And as you can see, we have a nice little fade here. So that's kind of the uh, first uh, tutorial we'll give you. Uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and used it. And please scroll down two inches to like and comment on this video. It really helps me out. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, Twitter at Third Floors. And I'll see you guys next time with a next tutorial, with another tutorial. See you guys.